We're good to get going. All right. So good evening, everyone. Tonight is uh, Tuesday, July 11th. Uh, this is the advisory meeting. We have some final end of the year transfers to go over. Um, I think everyone has a copy in front of them. So, uh, you know, first up is the uh, town administrator for a total of $29.74. And as a function of meeting expenses, I will entertain a motion to approve the transfer of $29.74 from the advisory reserve fund uh, to um, town administrator 123. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. 7, 11, 17. All right. Second one, uh, treasurer. And uh, this is uh, to cover assistant salary for year end. This is a missed calculation on behalf of the treasurer. She, since she is here, not here, but potentially watching, I'll take this opportunity to just make fun of her a little bit. She clearly already had her mind in retirement. Short timers position. Yeah, that, I mean, who knows? So this is an amount of $1,180.53. Um, this is to be transferred from advisory reserve uh, to 145.51020. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> All right, next is for the town hall which is uh, for the balance of an electric bill and Belmont Springs uh, water uh, to be paid. Specifically, the electric bill, $399, Belmont Springs, $10.36, for a total of $409.36 to be transferred from advisory reserve uh, to 192 Town Hall. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, next is um, the fire. And let's see, that is not a uh, well. So, you know, let's go in order of what I have to sign here. The next is um, for street lights for $398.45. This is charged, uh, the charge is used to cover electric bills, uh, reason being rising energy costs as a result of our friends at National Grid. Um, this is to be transferred from advisory reserve uh, to line 424. So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? One of the things, I'm not opposed, but one of the things that we should watch carefully in the coming year is these electrical accounts because if they went up such that we have these several transfers we may or may not have put in enough for, for the next fiscal year so we need to watch that carefully yep. yeah um all right the next is for thirty dollars and thirty cents and this is uh for the transfer station uh, to be transferred from advisory reserve uh, to line 433-5280. And this is a function of uh, expenses and services for the transfer station for the month of June. Um, recycling costs have increased uh, due to a slow market on a contractual basis. It's a sliding scale that is used that is directly related to the market. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the transfer of $30.30. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. 
Next, uh, $714.98. This is for uh, the sewer. And uh, this is for a portion of an invoice, uh, one being for $136.22 for the month of May, and a following invoice for the month of June, $578.76. Uh, the amount requested is $714.98. So there looks as though there's a slight balance available to. Well, no, no, no. No, uh, no I think yeah. what they're saying is that. Yeah, there isn't any. The balance any available covered part of May, but not June. So yes. Yeah. So it's part of May and part of June. What account is this? This is for. Um, Yeah, and so that is, um, now I was going to bring that in. Is this also electrical related? No, sewer. So it's just, they just ran, ran short. That would probably be under We ought to look at that. Maintenance. We ought to look at that later in the year, again, to make sure that, that we compensate for that in the year. The current year and what make sure it? that the next year. 440? Yeah. The only one that I see is purchase of services. Sewer, purchase of services. Oh, yes. Yeah, there it is right here, PNS. Whatever. Um, all right. And we have budgeted uh, $8,000. Okay. Yes, that's all. And last year we had 87 or 7, so we cranked it down a little. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're moving right on. <laughs> All right. I'll entertain a motion to approve $714.98. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. And, uh, okay. And it's, oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So moving back up the line, uh, fire. $1,604.27. Um, there's a present balance of negative $8,553.59. Wages firefighter. This is a request to move money from advisory reserve to wages firefighter. The request is for call fighter wages higher than expected. Emergency call volume. The actual call volume for FY17 was approximate 20% higher than our previous highest volume year. The requested amount will balance the overall wages and expenses. So I'll say so, about, so yeah, what, what yeah. I think what they're saying then is that they will be able to move some other monies around within those accounts yes. to cover the rest of that eighth. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. So that they run short. Okay. Yeah, and this goes. I mean, this is another thing. This is like an annual conversation. It was more prevalent over the past three, four years with ambulance on really having a hard time trying to pin down and figure out the, what the right number was because call volume is so variable there, there's absolutely no way that you can really plan for it but clearly uh, as a function of you know more more of these you know issues being raised where multiple departments are being called out it's uh, looks as though it's starting to impact fire as well so um, maybe something to keep track of so I'll entertain a motion to approve from advisory reserve $1,604.27. Uh, so All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Uh, the line item in the, in the budget is uh, 2205115. Yeah, the, the numbers are there, but it's not exactly as Oh, I, yeah. And did you have a... No, Mike. No. Yeah. 
I'm just looking at this. I think he just this. wrote an extra one in there. There must be, maybe there's some reason. Because they usually aren't five numbers, are they? Anyway. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, that, so th this was the majority of the meeting to approve all these transfers. You know, what was also on the agenda was to discuss draft and financial policies. However, okay, before you go to that, is there another one? There was a, an attachment to what we oh. were given, and I don't know whether it's something we need to vote on or not. <coughs> but it looks as if we do. It's not nice, though. I think what they're, I think what they're suggesting is that there's extra cash in the police budget and in the DPW budget, and so to pull that out and put it against snow and ice. That's mm. that's my reading of it without. Uh, having the uh, transfer from yeah. police and T DPW transfer to exactly right. yeah no you're right I wasn't even paying you attention from right to left so um, wasn't even paying attention to that that's right. yeah so this that's right uh, so thank you uh, this is budget transfer requests uh, transfers from uh, police department. Uh, 210 DPW uh, 421 to move over to snow and ice which is 423 uh, the amounts which would make a nice dent in that yeah in that number police 136 it's, you mean to tell me that we there's an additional 136? Well, I, I'm okay. sure there are extending, yeah. extenuating circumstances having to do with people coming and going. If you recall, they had a no sergeant for a okay, whole so lot of time, and and they had people coming and going, and so you know, it, it, so it's basically when you get to the end of the year, if you didn't you budget you budget for a staff. If that staff isn't around part of the year, yeah. then you're going to have the extra money. Yeah, no, no, no. And so it would have come back to us. I mean, it's coming back to us. It's just the suggestion of going here. So I guess the, Which is, yeah, so the only issue would be, do you want to put it against that or do you want to, to just let it roll into free cash? But it probably makes sense to put no, it. No, 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 it is. No, 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 no. What was odd is that you would think the columns are just odd, right? Like. The amount is over here, and then it's two, and then so it well, was. Is she has a? She obviously has a uh, yeah. form on her computer that's different from yeah. the handwritten one that everybody else uses. No, I think it's. But I, it's. I think it's clear. Just read from right to left. Here, all yeah. It flows. One thirty-six to eighty-seven sixty-six is the amount to snow and ice from police to ten, and eighty thousand. Uh, snow and ice 423 uh, from DPW 421 so moved Second. all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed aye. no whatever you were saying <laughs> yeah so the on the agenda were all of these transfer items and then discussion of what we were talking about before however for all intents and purposes we're in the same boat if not even a little bit smaller because right. uh, we, we don't even have capital planning here but n no disrespect or fault of theirs so my thought is um, we we adjourn yep. and um, you know, I'm just trying to think uh, I'd like to add that uh, what Brian passed out last week is, is really outstanding. Yeah. And I hope that uh, capital planning follows suit. Yeah. Adopts this and makes it their, their uh, standard way of doing business. Yeah. And to kind of launch it the first year and to follow this as a standard, it, it, we should give them maximum time. Um, not try to 
preemptively judge they only need a month from October to November, I would give them maximum time. And maybe they're already taking it. I mean, they don't need to wait for us to yeah. tell them to launch, but uh, it's, it's a great document. And I think at the last meeting, Brian had asked people to submit comments to him, and so I think we should still have that request go out to members of capital planning and selectmen to uh, individually comment on the policies, send stuff to Brian Hill, he can compile them all and, and bring them back sometime, whenever that sometime is. Yeah. Um, a suggestion I guess I would have, if we're of, of a mind to do it, would be that, that we take a vote that basically endorses the concept of the earlier schedule that we discussed at the last meeting um, as sort of an incentive for everybody to get behind that when September comes, um, that we would be on record as saying that we as a committee like the idea of, of moving that up. Um, maybe, maybe that's not appropriate, but, but that would be something we, we could do right now um, if, we, if we were all in reasonable agreement about about doing that. I'm not certainly in support of that earlier schedule, but maybe even earlier than the one that we documented. I was doing some research on just various towns pretty random, and there's a New Hampshire town that is having a uh, capital planning meeting, and their agenda is have all the departments gotten their CIP forms in like this week mm. in July. For so, the following year? For the, for wow. the following year. So. Well, uh, not that they are the standard setter, but again, um, you have to count on a form coming in, going back to get questions answered, clarity, justification. You know, it, it isn't just a boom, boom, boom down the down the timeline. There's a lot of loops, and and especially the first time, um, you kind of need need time as your friend. One. Uh possible suggestion would be requesting a joint meeting with capital planning at some point this summer and maybe a week before that meeting we ask everybody on advisory and capital planning to have submitted their comments on the capital planning policy and also um, be prepared to discuss timing issues like when in this budget cycle do we anticipate um, certain capital planning benchmarks to happen um, whether we would also want to try to add to that meeting a discussion of a CIP evaluation form I'm not sure whether that's too much for one meeting but I think at this point everyone on advisory and capital planning has the the Hudson example so we could, but that would, I just think it'd be nice to request a joint meeting with them where this is on the agenda and we can just get all of our comments in one place. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, uh, okay. I have not provided any comment, as you all know, <laughs> to, to, to you. <laughs> um, uh, w w were you able to solicit any comments over the past couple of weeks? Ted and I had a chat. Um, and I think he's got some handwritten notes he's going to hand over. Yeah, after the meeting. Or yeah. Um, but yeah, and I mean, I think focusing just on the one policy on capital planning for now probably makes sense, just because it seems like it's the one where we can make the most concrete progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I will say, so after our last meeting, um, you know, I mentioned to you guys that I would have a call with Dawn about you know various uh, requests and the lack thereof uh, comments. So we had that conversation, and and he was uh, he was in agreement that you know more could be provided. Yet at the same time, there was you, you, he did apologize because there was there was supposed to be more data at that last meeting, but also he did go back to, you know, there's certain things, the same argument, same, you know, commentary that I provided to you guys before, that there's certain things that have to be, 
you know, kept quiet, but you know, could be redacted. The other conversation was was exactly, you know, some of this of the timing. And I just provided a high level overview of what we were talking about, which was, you know, looking at revamping the schedule. <coughs> um, so I mean, that is on my to-do list to. Um, you know, to get to Linda, the departmental schedule, to really revamp that and take everyone's feedback from advisory and move up the really big, important um, departments very early on. And maybe even in, you know, January, we, we hammer out, you know, uh, two nights or something, right? Like try and really front load it. Really front end load it. Really front load it. But, and then also, um, and, and Don wasn't opposed to that because he's like, you know, what do I care? It's, it's you know, <laughs> your evenings. <laughs> um, in terms of, you, you know, backing up the entire process, um, you know, he was open to it. I mean, I will say that there was, he voiced some concerns about, you know, it's, what's been working has been working. So... But it hasn't been at this uh, point. Yeah, so what I would, I would feel a lot more comfortable on making any type of decision like that with particularly him in the room. To, yep, I agree. Um, and, I, and my understanding is he's involved in some contract negotiations uh, these tonight as well as you know, the previous Tuesday night that we were here a couple weeks ago. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think we are, you know, moving forward on a good clip. There's documentation. Um, you know what? What are you guys? What are you guys thinking in terms of uh, you know a schedule over the summertime on getting before we get to the summertime yeah. schedule? Can we just uh, empower Linda to uh, take the the budget and go from the big dollar departments to the low dollar departments and and plug them in? I mean, she has a feel if we spent X hours or minutes with this particular department instead of being in April and now they're in. January or something. I mean, if yeah, I were yeah. doing a, yeah, a, an Excel thing, I'd just do data sort, I don't know, and that would be the order. Yeah. That, that's yeah. probably okay. And that would be a good first cut, and then you can take a look at it. And yeah. You know, sure. but, but the real issue is they're getting in their budgets and especially their capital requests earlier than that. Oh, yeah. So that's a... That's yes. So it's fine to, to talk about when people come in, but they've got to have already submitted this stuff right. before they come in, and, and we and we really ought to, to, to get some agreement, certainly from Don, as you indicated, but also maybe having other people involved in it. So I don't know if that can be done in September or... Uh, well, that's the line. could be done over the, over the summer. Right? We send out as soon as possible. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then that lets... Each department committee can work around the vacations they have, the you know the scope of work that they you know they have to do. I mean, they can plan how they want to uh, flange up to the. It, it would probably make sense to call with regard to the meeting that Brian's suggesting. It would make sense to poll the membership and find out if people are going to be around. If they're not, then it doesn't make any sense to do it until September. And if it, if, and so worst case, you could schedule it for the day after Labor Day or the week after Labor Day. Um, but if people are going to be around, you could go ahead and, and schedule it. But I would poll people to find out. Um, I mean, you know, we've only been able to field four of six in the last two meetings. I'm going to be away. I can call in if I know when we're going to do it. but. Uh, but I'm going to be physically away, um, and so you should, you should just find out whether whether yeah. critical mass can attend, and and it might make sense to have, if it's possible, to find a night that Don could do it uh, yeah. to include him in. I think he would be he would be an important person to include in the process. I think, and um, mm -hmm. so just to see what you can work up, and if you can come up with a date, then that's great, and if not. Then, uh, then we should all try to work together by email and stuff uh, on the policies to get that kind of stuff worked out and to, and to get inputs in on the calendar so that 
uh, so that that can be done. And if, if they can draft what a different calendar might look like and, and stuff taking into account the suggestions that we've made, then, then I think that could be all right. Yeah, is it, yeah, you're right. There's nothing to say that we still can't do a home mess of work. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it really is a function of when and how can we get everyone all together, right? Which, no doubt, can be difficult. But, I, and that's, that is true. I, I will do that. Um, and again, the purpose of this joint advisory capital meeting would be to, would be, I think, to, make sure we're sort of all on the same page when it comes to the capital planning policy. Um, that we're all kind and, of and married to that. Well, and the one that's in here. In, okay. in there, and then um, <coughs> also on the same page about the capital planning schedule when it comes to uh, spending articles for the budget. Right. Okay. And then, like I said, I think we could also, depending on how much time we wanted to give ourselves, we could talk about what an evaluation form would look like. Um, that seems to me the type yeah, of thing that, that, that then, yeah. yeah, and I don't think it's, ju I don't think that's just a capital planning thing because ultimately we're gonna be relying on that form too. So I, I do think it's a joint discussion. Um, but those would be the three things I think discussion of the policy, discussion of capital planning calendar, and then discussion of an evaluation form for capital projects. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. Oh, do you want to? Uh, Approve the meeting, the minutes from the last meeting? Or if people would read those? Uh, I have not. Okay. Uh, but I can. Just a lot of people have. Yeah. Do, do you guys? That's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, on I mean, that one thought. What? I was just going to say on that subject, I don't know if you guys heard, but apparently. Uh, the Attorney General's office is considering revising the standard for open meeting law minutes and making there be like a presumptive either two to three week turnaround. And if you don't meet it, you have to have a good reason. <laughs> so anyway, once that comes down. Uh, I guess part of my thinking in this is that once we approve them, then they're they can be made available to other people. So we can potentially use those minutes as a way to convey some of what we discussed with people to other folks who weren't here. And so there's an advantage to that if we can find a way to get those out. But I will uh, look it over tonight and uh, prove. Okay. So All right. that it then? I think so. So, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 All right, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all, have a nice evening. When you're finished.